I got my PlayStation 4 controller. So you know what that means. What's up? It's Chris from Stone Fox Media. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Don't let it go to your head. Okay, guys. So I'm going to be telling you about a little bit of controversial news because it just needs to be said. I mean, to me, it was hilarious. But before I get to that, let me tell you what's going on in other gaming news right now. Today, Capcom announced that Street Fighter V has a new A-Rap character. Uh, Rashid gets awesome 1080p 60 frames per second trailer and artwork. Uh, his name is Rashid of the Turbulent Wind and he did show a lot of his super cool abilities like being inside of a tornado, throwing little mini tornadoes. He was basically kind of a badass. And I didn't really see anything controversial about this. I know it's September 11th and it's a, definitely a big day for America, but... I didn't see anything controversial about it. And everyone else is like, oh man, they're trolling. Capcom knows it's September 11th. They're going to unleash an A-Rap character. And, you know, he's going to be beating up another character. And I'm like, one, Ryu is technically in Japan. But whatever. But you do have people coming out there and making crazy comments, making fun of the character, saying that he's the bomb. And that, you know, he's a terrorist character. So he's going to have a suicide vest on. And I'm like, look. Look, look, they're trying to be a little bit diverse here, okay? It's nothing wrong with them. I mean, Street Fighter has a bunch of different characters from a different different places, like Russia, you name it. They have a bunch of different characters. So I don't know why this one is such a big deal to a lot of people, but I know a lot of people are salty, so I understand. But the bomb one, that was kind of funny. It's not right, but it was kind of funny. Sorry, just was. Now, moving off from that, Square Enix CEO did make a statement saying that gamers don't want unfinished content. So he promises to deliver a polished Hitman. So we all know that games come out a lot broken and smashed and the characters are all like stupid. Well, apparently Square Enix doesn't want that to happen with the Hitman game. So he did come out there and he made a statement saying it's game first. We want to keep the business model very simple. There's going to be one price, so we're not talking microtransactions. And it allows for us to evolve the content itself. Gamers don't want unfinished content, so we're being very clear. This is going to be a AAA polished as Hitman as you can get, uh, but we will continue to create experiences so that the world only expands. We are experimenting. I got to give them a lot of credit here. Gotta give him a lot of credit. He did come out there and say that, hey, we're not doing microtransactions. Gamers don't want an unfinished game. So we all know that when they bust out the DLC, they've already made the game. They just hacked out a small piece of it and then they sell it back to you. We already know because how can they announce DLC six months before a game comes out? How is that possible? You already made this level. We're not stupid. But I will disagree with him on his whole entire statement that gamers don't want unfinished content. See, that's not true. See, we have grown accustomed to unfinished products, okay? We like when our characters are broken and act stupid and run into walls and, you know, they can teleport. We love that stuff. It makes the game entertaining. Now, moving on from that, this is the final bit of news I have to tell you guys today. And this goes into the whole entire lotion conspiracy. In lieu of their 20th anniversary, people have told to release this whole entire gamer data that PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 3 continues to dominate in porn usage. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So over the YouPorn World news page, they did roll out some stats showing that the porn usage between PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4 users are at the top at 51% and that, you know, Xbox is coming in second place. Their usage is actually down and Wii U owners bottom out with only 10% of the porn traffic. So there is a ratio breakdown from male to female usage on YouPorn. And according to their stats, 91.5% of the console users that go to YouPorn are all male. What a shock. So crazy. I couldn't imagine why that would happen. It's impossible. But it did show that 26% of that uh, site traffic did come from females, and that was primarily on the Wii U. See, if you want to hook up with the ladies, 
You got to get a Wii U. That's where it's at. That's where it's at. So they did decide to do a time breakdown on which console you owners spend the most amount of time on the site with Wii U owners having an average of eight minutes and 23 seconds. You got to practice. But it did show that PlayStation owners weren't afraid to put a little bit of extra research and theirs is at 9 minutes and 23 seconds. See? They're winning. They can't be beat. They can't be beat hands... I don't know why I do this sometimes. I don't even know why. But yeah, I just had to talk about this because I was like cracking up. So the, you know, play with yourself station is still on top. And the porn box is second. And the we want you. I got nothing for we. I'm sorry. I got nothing for him. Well, that's all the news I got for you guys today. Like, subscribe, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook. You know, as soon as my news becomes available. Thank you guys for watching, and I will holler at y'all later.